The Mahoning Valley Community School teaches at-risk students. In its 16 years, it's had three locations. All of them were leased from the Youngstown City Schools. Now it has one new school building, one that it will own. Here's First News anchor Stan Boney to explain. For years, this building on South Avenue in Youngstown, right off I-680, was the unemployment office. This is where laid-off steelworkers would come to file for unemployment. But now the building has been bought, and it will be the future site of the Mahoning Valley Community School. And it had been closed for around you know, a couple years, uh, but it was well-maintained, well-kept up. Juvenile Court Judge Teresa Delick founded Mahoning Valley Community School for students with significant risk of dropping out. Jen Merritt is the superintendent. The majority of our population is on the south side and we wanted to be right on the south side of Youngstown so that we could continue to serve that population the best that we could. Today we found tile floors being removed from the building that opened in 1958. In other rooms, windows had been cut into the block to make it feel less institutional. This is what the building looked like when it was bought. Wide open areas with large cubicles. Looks a lot different now than it did then? Most definitely, yeah. yes. Yeah. We have classrooms constructed, areas for the students, a wellness area. During the day, the building will service up to 350 students. But in the evenings and on weekends, it will serve the community as a whole. There will be mental health services and a kitchen to teach people how to eat healthy. There's also going to be uh, medical services too. Um, along with a host of other services, Site for All, United Way will be here. The Mahoning Valley Community School has owned this building almost a year now. They started construction here in November, and they hope to have it all finished in time to open up for summer school in June. In Youngstown, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.